My friend, I come to you today a conflicted man. This is my conflicted look, which as you can see is much different from my normal happy and excited look, which is this. It also happens to be my I just farted and blamed it on the dog look. Never before have I been so both so excited and pissed off at the same time in a video. And it's all because of these. These little dream crushers. The new Baofang UV5X GMRS radio. I have been trying to get my hands on these for months. They just came out a couple of months ago. Finally, late last night, much later than the Amazon website said they were gonna be coming, they were delivered. I was excited, I was like a little boy. I plugged in the batteries so they could charge up overnight. Couldn't sleep all night. Got up early, ran downstairs. I felt like a little boy on Christmas morning, expecting a bright, shiny bicycle. And instead, I got a box of underwear and a bag of turds. Not even as good as a bag of turds. Turds float. These won't even float. So I'm going to do a review of the wonderful and exciting new Baofeng UV5X GMRS radios. But seriously, up front, I'm not gonna string it out. There are some serious issues with these radios. Do not buy these radios without at least understanding the issues because some people may be able to work around the issues. For some people, it may not be a big deal. For me, it's a big deal. These pieces of shit, the shit are going back. So I'm gonna go over what you get in the box and I'm gonna go over these issues. Just make sure you understand if you choose to buy them, I'm saying don't buy them if you decide to. At least understand the issues before you buy them, which I'm gonna go over. We're gonna, this, let's have, this will be a teachable moment. So the new Baofeng UV5X GMRS radios, they're sold in pairs. You can't buy them, at least that I could find one at a time. It costs $60 for the box of two, which comes out to about $30 each. It is basically a UV5R with the GMRS rules baked in, which makes it legal, FCC part 95 E legal and compliant as a GMRS radio. You can see the FCC ID on the back I'll put it on the screen so you can see it. Strange thing is, I could not find the FCC ID, which can be used to look up the certification. I couldn't find it in the FCC database. Now I'm gonna chalk that up to user error because I'm a moron. I might've typed it in wrong. I, I typed it in all different ways. So I'm not saying that this radio is not actually FCC compliant, at least based on the FCC tag, but I'm gonna leave it up to you, the viewer, to see if you can find it in the FCC database. Maybe it's just not updated yet. It is a brand new radio. I could not find it. If you're able to find the FCC ID, certification information, at the FCC website in there, device database lookup machine, leave a comment, let us know, because I'm, I'm curious if I just screwed up or if it, is this just a big sham by the Bofang man? So what you get when you get your box and Open it up like it's Christmas morning, only to have your dreams crushed. What you will get is two Baofeng UV5X radios, each with its own battery. From here on out, I'm just going to talk about one radio because they're the same. They're both pieces of sh. The antenna is not removable, although there is a tiny little, tiny little hex wrench that you could use to take it apart and replace it. I don't know why it's not removable. FCC part 95E says it can be removable, so I'm not sure why it wouldn't be. Uh, if you have a tiny enough hex wrench, you could take it off. I don't, because it's really small. I don't even see it. Super tiny, small little hole, if you can even see it. So it's not user removable, but you could remove it should you choose to do so. Included in the box, you get a well-written, user guide. You get two chargers, one for each radio, which is nice. You get two power adapters. You get two of the little microphone earpiece deals. They're cheap and flimsy. Same as what comes with the UV-5R. You get the 
lovely wrist strap. Two of them. You get two belt clips, which can be affixed to the radios. And by the way, all of this in the box that I received was just loose and floating around. It, the, uh, the little ear pieces, the, the bags, so each of the uh, earpiece uh, push to talk microphone thingies came in bags. The bags were open, the stuff was out, the little rubber ear pieces, uh, not rubber, foam rubber pieces were out floating around. The Nothing was packaged tightly. I guess it doesn't matter because nothing broke, but come on, Baofeng. I know, they've got bigger problems to worry about, which I'm gonna get to. So for the price, two radios, uh, two chargers. Oh, and the radios, the batteries, they do have the, I've mentioned this before on other radios, the three contacts, uh, plus and a minus, and the middle is for a temperature sensor that prevents, if, if that allows the charger to read the temperature and turn off or slow down so it doesn't overheat the battery. But the charger only has two pins, so it doesn't take advantage of that temperature sensor. Not a big deal, you know, what do you want? 30 bucks per radio. So out of the box, just like any other GMRS radio, it's got the 22 GMRS channels baked in and it does have four additional repeater channels set aside. And it also has 11 NOAA channels that you can scan through. They're already pre-programmed. I thought there was only seven. I think the additional ones, the additional NOAA channels are older legacy channels. And as soon as I turned on the first one and started playing with it, I noticed up there next to the channel name, you can see on the screen a little CT. Of course, because you read the manual, you would know that CT means uh, there's a CTCSS tone programmed in, which I thought was a bit odd because if you're using a tone, that means that you can only talk to or listen to another radio that's using the same tone. So I got the other one, there's two of them and tested them and they talk to each other just fine. No problem, this radio talking to that radio out of the box, all channels worked. But because it had that CTCSS tone pre-programmed, I couldn't talk to another GMRS radio because it didn't have that tone set. So that's number one issue. Right out of the box, it's got pre-programmed tones that prevent you from talking to any other GMRS or FRS radio unless you take the time to program that same tone into the other radio. Or you might be saying to yourself, why not just remove the tone from the radio? Great idea. So knowing the menu features that I'm familiar with, because it's a UV5R, I went in and I removed the tone. Went back to the channel and the little CT was still there. Figured, ah, user error. Went back in, yeah, the CTCS tone was still there. I removed it again. I double checked carefully, made sure I save it. Screen confirmed that it was gone. Went back to the channel and the CTCSS tone was there. And not only does it have a CTCSS uh, transfer tone, it has a receive tone, two tones pre-programmed. You cannot remove the tones from the keypad. It will not allow you to remove the tones from the keypad. That's issue number one. The same thing when I went to the repeater channels, I forget if there was a tone in there or, or no tones, I, I don't remember, but for the repeaters around me, I have to put in specific tones. No problem, I've done this a hundred times on my other radios, Baofengs and all the other brand radios. Went in, put in the tone to access my two favorite local repeaters, wouldn't save them. Went back, made sure because I've been known to do stupid things. I'm only human, I'm just a human boy. Just like the rest of us, I make mistakes. I, usually, I have the benefit that I can usually edit them out so you don't see them. I double checked, put the repeater tone in correctly. It was correct, I confirmed it, I saved it, I looked at it on the screen, went back, it didn't save. You cannot change, add or remove, transmit or receive tones from the keypad. Does not work, you piece of shit. I also noticed that they were set on narrow band out of the box. You can see that at the top, one of the little letters there is, I think it says N, narrow band. No problem. Went into the menu to put it on wide band because wide is better than narrow. Actually, there are technical reasons why a lot of times you want to use wide band. Narrow band can be an issue on some repeaters. I went in to change it to wide band, made sure I saved it, came back. 
would not save it. You cannot change this from wide band to narrow band or vice versa on the keypad. Does not allow you to do it. Yep. Piece of sh. The next thing I noticed is it out of the box? It was on low power or high power, I forget. I wanted to change the power level for one of the channels where it's allowed to be changed. Just for fun, I tried to change it from high power to low power. Does not allow you to change the power, even on a legally allowed power, even to a legally allowed power limit. So for example, it was on high power on channel 16. I wanted to lower it to, to low power. Can't do it. You cannot change it on the keypad. Yep, piece of sh. So you can't change anything on the keypad basically, or anything that matters. No problem. I'll go in with Chirp because I need to do that anyway to, to put in all my repeaters and program all my channels. Chirp is the software that you can use to program these things. Guess what? Even though Chirp has been updated to work with the UV5X radio, and a lot of people say that you should be able to use the UV5R option because they're basically the same, this radio does not work with Chirp. Yep, piece of sh Using a known good cable, Plug it into my UV5R, my BTEC, it, all my other radios, cable works fine. Plug it into this radio, it will not work. It does not work with Chirp, period. It doesn't communicate. Piece of sh So basically, I have two floating turds. That's what it feels like. That's how it feels like that inside. Thank you, Baofeng, for crushing my dreams. They, they don't even float. At least a good turd will float. It's like I had tacos last night and it doesn't, they don't, pieces of sh So I resorted to Google. After actually quite a bit of searching, I found that Bofang, Baofang, Bofang, Baofang, I don't care how you pronounce it because they've crushed my dreams. Baofang has something on their website indicating basically that, oh yes, by the way, there is a minor issue in the firmware that means it doesn't save anything at the keyboard and oh, oops, it doesn't work with chirp. Basically, a defective radio because it doesn't do what it says it does when you take it out of the box. I can't take this radio out of the box and talk to another GMRS radio unless I program that radio to the tones that are baked in here for some stupid reason, you piece of sh So no problem, Baofang is taking care of us. There's a firmware update, great. I thought I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Things were looking good. Downloaded the update, just took a couple of seconds. It actually took longer to find the update. It's almost as though they've hidden this. They don't make it public that they're shipping out defective radios, you piece of sh Got the download, downloaded it, unzipped it. You gotta unzip it, you gotta know how to unzip it. Not a big deal. The firmware updater program is made for Windows. That's great, awesome. Unless you're one of the 100 million people that use a Mac or one of the 30 million people that use Linux or Chromebook, which uses can use the Linux version, I can't run the firmware updater. And neither can you if you have a Mac, unless maybe you install a VM and put Windows in that VM and... Yeah. Why? Why, Baofeng? Why? You dream crusher, you piece of sh So my two dream crushing turds, they're going back. So if you want a GMRS radio that will talk to any other GMRS radio out of the box without fussing and hassling, this is not the radio for you. Get a Rayodity, Radiodity, Radioidity, GM30. That only costs 30 bucks. I just did a review. I'll link to that up there. If you want something even a little bit better, get a Ocean KG805G or 905G waterproof. I, I don't know if I mentioned. Not waterproof, not dustproof, nothing. Again, 30 bucks. That's okay. But unless you're willing to put up with the issues, as long as you're aware of them, Go ahead and buy it if you choose to, you know, if that's okay, it might be okay with you. Otherwise, I would recommend getting something that's not defective out of the box and works the way it's advertised when you take it out and turn it on. If you've bought one of these uh, UV5Xs and you have it, I would love, please leave a comment. If you make a 10 paragraph comment that I usually complain about, I'm not gonna complain. I wanna know your experience with your UV5X if you've purchased them. If you're able to get it working with Chirp, uh, if you're using Windows and what you had to go through and how it's working, if you got it working, leave a comment. If you have questions about the radio, this radio, any other radios, GMRS in general, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer. If I can't answer, somebody else will. They'll probably get it wrong. It's YouTube. What do you want? Thank you for watching. We hope to see you on the show.